everybody anytime you are. Okay, hello and welcome to Practical Knife Reviews. Today we're looking at the Rough Rider Copper Series Fish Knife RR1597. Before I forget the price, this is available from SMKW for $12.99 when it's in stock. Right now it's out of stock, but when it's in stock, regular price is $12.99. And let me tell you, that's a pretty good deal for this knife. What do you think, Ma? I love this knife. I carry it a lot when we go on our walk. Yeah, so we've got 440A blades, which as I mentioned many times, every time we do Rough Rider, essentially, unless it's in their classic carbon series, 440A doesn't hold an edge very long, but it's very easy to sharpen, very stainless. So for a budget knife, it's fine. We've got copper bolsters, copper pins, copper loop here at the end and you can see that it, the copper patina is pretty well if you look right under can you see right under the the loop there on the back the bail you see how the copper is still like fresh right there I don't know can you see on the yeah. camera yeah so if you look right under there the copper is nice and shiny still that was what all of this looked like when it came in but due to carrying it it's now uh, nice and patina like coppers want to do now they have a black coating on on this it's just like a painted on coating but you can see we've got a nice long clip blade you could use that for filleting fish here we've got a magnetic disgorger so that's for if the the fish swallows the hook you can put this down into the fish's throat to try to unhook the fish from the inside but one issue with that might be that the saw or the descaler of this, uh, the the descaler, is way sharper than any of the other descalers that I have. So you'd have to be very careful when disgorging the fish, to not just slice it open with with the scaler, because then you're kind of defeating the purpose of trying to let the fish get out uh, without trying to rip out all of its guts and whatnot. Um, you still would end up killing the fish if you end up sawing it open from the inside. But in any case. You've also got a little um, uh, ruler and you've got a little bottle opener. So if you're out on the lake with a cold one, I don't know. I'm assuming that's something people do when they go fishing out on the lake. Uh, we also have a little hook sharpener, which this is just like uh, sandstone. It's pretty coarse. I can use it for filing my nails anyway. And uh, this is a black smooth bone but it, it comes out like a kind of inky black like cloudy which actually I like the looks of in any case talked enough about it out here we're gonna take a closer look when we get inside anyway so let's see if it's sharp as mom said we do use this one pretty frequently so it'll be a question of whether or not I've sharpened it super recently yep Oop. although the paper is pretty wet at this point we've been out here for a little while now but you can see, pretty sharp. Now, just for the sake of that, let's see if I can cut it with this. This saw is sharp, let me tell you. Way sharper than you would typically have. Yeah, normally you wouldn't be able to do that <laughs> with a scaler, but, a little bit of a hang up, but we're actually able to slice through that. You could actually cut yourself pretty bad, pretty bad with that. Let's take a look at cardboard. We'll cut into an apple. So hold this for a second. It's covered in snow now. That's okay. So into cardboard. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Nice and easy. Worked well on the cardboard. Let's see how it is for peeling an apple. So this blade is a little bit long for peeling an apple, but actually it's going quite well and here's my obligatory mention I'm a bad apple peeler I don't do it except for these videos and for cooking and when I cook I use a actual apple peeler but this is going pretty well Ma what do you think yeah that's probably one of the better one knives that you've done recently anyway either that or you're really getting good at peeling apples and I don't think it's that <laughs> I don't think it's that either I'm pretty sure that it's just the uh, this knife is is pretty well suited for for this purpose. 
Okay, more. There you go. There's your snack. Okay, I get you. Now I'll uh, do some feather sticking. Here we've got pine. This is a soft wood. This piece is not really ideal for this. I know I've said that in the last couple of videos, but that's because they all came from the same piece of wood, which was really curvy. But you certainly can do it. The uh, back spring on this isn't that tight. We'll talk about that when we go on the inside. So it does want to come back out. But fortunately, there's a pretty big uh, finger groove right there. So you can put your finger choke way up on it and basically use that as a safety. But anyway, not the best piece of wood, but you can see you can get pretty good curls out of it once you hit a straight section in it. Let's try it on some oak. This is red oak. This is the hardest wood in our forest, as I always say. This one is not going as well to start. Uh, it just wanted to skate off the outside of it instead of cutting into it. I'm getting a little bit better into it now, but not really the most comfortable grip to try to dig into it but if you were out in the middle of the woods and this was the knife you had on you could you get feather sticks yeah they're not great they're really not all that good but you can get them it is able to feather stick now just out of curiosity before we go inside and check out the rest why not we'll try the uh, scaler on wood see if we can get any shavings with that Oh yeah, how about that? So it's funny, these all have grooves on them from where the little teeth are. But yeah, those that actually worked okay. Almost as good as the knife, <laughs> the blade. Yeah, we can... So if you were doing this for a while, you could make a little pile of scrapings. You're not really going to get feathers out of that, but you could make a little pile of scrapings. In any case, what do you think of the uh, Rough Rider Copper Series Fish Knife Mod before we take it in and take a closer look at it? I, I like this knife. I like the profile of it. I, and I actually do like the wand blade. I've used it to take debris off the inside of a birch bark for a painting. And it worked well. It's it's a pretty knife. It's I like uh, even even the little sharpening stone on it for the fish hooks is kind of cute on there. I said I had a little nub on my uh, fingernail and it just took it right off. So I, if nothing else it's a little finger file because uh, I've actually never used I, I've never had to sharpen a fish hook before so I don't know I don't know if I'd ever use that function of it I usually just go with the fish hooks that we've got but I don't know. Anyway we'll take it inside and take a closer look at it we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Pragnal Knife Reviews. Uh, I said that like it was the beginning of the episode, but we're still here from on this episode. This is the Rough Rider Copper Series uh, fishing knife. Before I open it, we'll look, take a nice close look. Let's get this light over here. A nice close look. Like I said, underneath this bale, let's see if I can get it to focus. You can see what the copper looked like originally right there right above my fingernail. Nice and shiny copper. But over time, it patinas, which is really nice. Nobody's knife is gonna look exactly the same as yours after it patinas. Um, yeah, we can see we've got our smooth black bone handles, but this side particularly, you can see it's more of like an inky, like cloudy black rather than, than pitch black, which is quite nice. I actually like the coloration on this with the not consistently black. You can see uh, the fish hook sharpener, which protrudes a fair amount. I would like if it would have been recessed a little bit farther into there, but you know, it is what it is. You see we've got our nice long clip point blade, which would be for filleting or whatever you needed. Uh, and I should say this is RR1597. We talked about all of the specs outside, so I'm going to skip that. Here is that magnetic disgorger, the fish scaler, bottle opener. 
And uh, let's take a look, quick look at the fit and finish. Why not? You can see when they're closed, this back spring stands just a little bit proud on the clip point side. You can see just ever so slightly. You can catch your nail on it, but not bad. But other than that, the fit and finish is pretty decent. Little tiny gap down here. That's about it. Uh, the centering is off, but eh, you know, it is what it is for a $13 knife. All right, let's get some measurements. Mom, why don't you talk about this one? I like this knife, even though it's it's kind of a longer knife. The only thing I, I'm not super fond of, unlike you, that likes the where the black bone has weathered a bit or whatever you well, call it. Well, it. it didn't weather. It's just that the the dye was not absorbed uh uniformly. even yeah uniformly yeah, there because of the density I of the bone more from an aesthetic point of view where the bone was dyed evenly along the thing because i think the coloration of the black with the copper is really really awesome but it's a little distracting to me to have that cloudiness uh, i like the cloudy you know what it reminds me of not that the listeners particularly care for my random musings but you know if they're here they might as well hear it um, it reminds me of like where you would see you take a, a, a glass of water and then you put some black dye into it and let the cloudiness just kind of spread out into the glass of water. I don't know why. That's what, that's what this reminds me of is dropping a drop of like uh, black food dye or something like that or black paint into water and just having the cloudiness go through it. I quite like it. This side's just darker, but yeah, on this side. Right. I like the, other, the other side. Well, that's how this goes. Yeah. Uh, five inches long overall closed. Or not, I guess not overall. Five inches closed. Open, we are looking at, this is a long knife. Just about nine inches open. Maybe, uh, maybe eight and seven eighths, but I, I would say it's pretty close to nine inches overall. Uh, blade length is four and... Uh, I guess you can call it four, four inches, maybe four and an eighth if you measure it down here, but I don't know, if you measure at the top, it's right around four, cutting length of three and a half inches. So fairly lengthy. The length is gonna be just slightly less when you have the scaler open. Uh, this is only three and three quarters inches roughly open, and the scaler is only two and five eighths inches long in terms of the scaling length. Uh, but in any case, as I mentioned, this scaler is significantly sharper than my other fishing knives, which is interesting. Good, bad, I don't know, it's just interesting. Let's get a weight measurement now. And we already mentioned 440A, uh, black smooth bone, copper, blah, blah, blah. You've already heard it all, so I'm not gonna bore you with it here. What light is that that we're getting that glare from? Is this? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. We're looking at 118 grams, which is 4.2 ounces. Not surprising that it weighs that much considering it is a long knife and it's got actual copper on it. But uh, I think that that just about does it. We've looked at the fit. Oops, this light came out. I'll put that there for you to look at while I try to fix this thing. Yeah, I'll just hold it until the end of the video. <laughs> we'll make it. Hold it. Oh, I'll just use my foot to hold this down. Anyway, listeners, <laughs> I think that that's about all that we're going to bother to do on this one. You've already seen it. You've heard the specs. That's good enough. Um, yeah, overall, quite like the knife. $13. It's pretty decent. Ma, what do you think? Why don't you just give us your final thoughts while I fiddle around with this? I like this knife. I carry it quite a bit, even though it's large. Um, and you typically easy. like smaller knives, in case the listeners are new to the channel. I do like the, what do you call this thing on the end here? That's a bale. I like the bale. It's pretty. Um, but I do like carrying it in I, my yeah, let's get a Let's get a close-up look at the bale. It's like a fish tail. But the, the copper, it's just really pretty. Yeah, and any time that you want that shine to come back, you would just have to use like Brasso or some other metal polish on it to polish that back up to its original coppery luster. In any case, if that's all you have to say, Ma, yeah. then that'll be it for this episode of Practical Knife Reviews on the Rough Rider Copper Series Fishing Knife. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very soon.
Take care.